This is Detective Brian Reed of the West Memphis Police Department, currently in the West Memphis Police Department, conducting an investigation for the offense of triple homicide, case file number 9305-0666. Currently in the office with Jesse Lloyd, Miss Kelly Jr., birth date 17 of 75, education as a ninth grade. The place we are in the detective division, today's date is 6-3 of 93. The time now is 2.44 p.m. Present in the interview will be Inspector Gary Gitchell and Jesse Miss Kelly. Jesse, in front of me I have a rights form. And it's got your signature at the bottom of it. Is that your signature? Yes, sir. Okay. We're informing you that we are Detective Sergeant Mike Allen and Detective Brian Ridge. Now, Detective Sergeant Mike Allen is the one that read this form to you earlier. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And I was here when he read it to you. Yes, sir. All right. Police officers of the West Memphis Police Department. We're conducting an investigation for the offense of capital felony murder, which was committed on or about 5-5 of 93. Before we ask you any questions, you must know and understand your legal rights. Therefore, we want and advise you that you have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes. And those are your initials on the line in front of that statement? Yes, it is. Okay. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. And those are your initials? Yes, it is. And you have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and have him with you during questioning. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. And those are your initials? Yes, it is. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning, if you wish, no cost to you. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. And those are your initials? Yes, it is. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. you understand that? Yes, I do. Those are your initials? Yes, it is. You're up here of your own free will. You right. came up here to answer some questions, and basically we found out some information during those questions. Is that correct? Yes, I do. Okay. At the bottom of this form is a waiver of rights. It says, I have read the statement of my rights, and I understand what my rights are. I am willing to make a statement and answer questions. I do not want a lawyer at this time. I understand and know what I am doing. No promises or threats have been made to me, and no pressure or force has been used against me. Is all that correct? Yes, it is. Okay. And you signed the bottom of the form? Yes, I did. Okay. It's witnessed by Michael Wayne Allen and myself, Detective Brian Ridge. Okay. Jesse, let's, let's go straight to... That date, 5-5 five, five of 93, a Wednesday early in the morning. You received a phone call, is that correct? Yes, I did. And who made that phone call? Jason Bowden. Uh, yeah. What occurred? What did he talk about? He called me and asked me could I go uh, go to West Memphis with him, and I told him no, I had to work and stuff. And then he told me he had to go to West Memphis, so him and Damien went, and then I went with him. All right, when? Wednesday. All right, when did you go with them? <coughs> that morning. At 9 o'clock in the morning? Yes, it is. Okay. I went with them, and then I... Uh, now, were you in a car? Whose car were you on? We walked. Y'all walked? Okay. Right, we walked, and then... Uh, Where did you go? We went to Robin Hood. You went to the Robin Hood. Explain to me where those woods are. About, uh... Blue Beacon, so was. Just a little patch of woods. A little patch of woods. Behind Blue Beacon? Behind it. Right back there, behind it. Okay. What occurred while you were there? When I was there, I saw Damien hit this one, hit this one boy real bad. And then, uh, now he started screwing him and stuff. And then, uh. Alright, you've got in front of you a picture. It was taken out of the newspaper, I believe. It's got three boys. And these are the three boys that were killed on that day in Robin Hood Woods. Okay. Which one of those three boys is it you say Damien hit? The third picture, which will be... This boy right here? Yeah. All right, that's uh, the buyer's boy. That's who you're pointing at? Mm -hmm. If you read the caption, the grizzly slain from left, eight-year-old Michael Moore, Stephen Branch, and Christopher Byers. Okay. 
So you saw Damien strike Chris Byers in the head. What did he hit him with? He hit him with his fist and bruised him all up real bad. And then uh, Jason turned around and hit Steve Branch. Okay. And started doing the same thing. Then the other one took off. Michael uh, Moore took off running. So I chased him and grabbed him and held him to they got there and then I left. Okay. All right. When you get the boys back together, where are you at from the creek? I was up by the uh, service road. Up by the service road? Okay. Now, when this, when he hits the first boy, where are they at when he, when he hits him? Are you in the woods? You on the side of the big bow? You out in the field? Where are you I was at? In the woods. In the woods. Okay, you've been down there in those woods before. So, Can you describe to me what in those woods? What's the location where you were? Uh, Is there a path you go down? I was down a little path. All right, where does that path go to? It leads out there, close to the uh, field, close to the interstate. Okay. Stuff where I was at. All right. I was close by the interstate. When he hits the first boy, and then Jason hits another boy. And one takes off running. Where does he run to? That one, he runs out, going out the, out the park, and I chased him and grabbed him and brought him back. Which way does he go, I mean? Does he go on back towards where the houses he, he, are? Is he back. going to Blue Beacon? Is he going out towards the field? He Where's he running to? Towards the houses. Towards the houses. Where the pipe is that goes across the water? Yeah. Okay. He run out there, and I, and I called him and brought him back. And then I took off. Okay. Well, you came back a little bit later, and all three boys are tied. Mm-hmm. Is that right? And then I took off and went home. All right. Have they got their clothes on when you saw them tied? They had them off. They had already gotten them off. When he first hit the boy, when Damien first hit the first boy, did they have their clothes on then? Mm-hmm. All right. When did they take their clothes off? Right, right after I, they beat up all three of them and beat them up real bad. Beat them up real bad. And then they took their clothes off. And then, they, then they tied them. Then they tied them up, tied their hands up. They start screwing them and stuff, cutting them and stuff. And I saw it and I turned around and looked. And then I took off running. I went home. And then they called me. Asked me how come I didn't stay. I told him I just couldn't. Just couldn't stay for that. I couldn't stand to see what they were doing to him. Okay. Now, when it's going on, when it's taking place, <coughs> you under you saw somebody with a knife. Who had a knife? Jason. Jason had a knife. What did he cut with a knife? What did you see him cut, or who did you see him cut? I saw him cut one of the little boys. All right, where did he cut him at? He was cutting him in the face. Cutting him in the face. All right. Another boy was cut, I understand. Where was he cut at? At the bottom. On his bottom? Was he face down and he was cutting on him? or? He was. He you was, talking about bottom, do you mean right here? Mm-hmm. In his groin mm-hmm. area? Okay. So right. you know what his penis is? Yeah, that's where he was cut at. That's where he was cut. Which and boy was that? Right there. You're talking about the buyer's boy mm-hmm. again? Okay. Are you sure that he was the one that was cut? That's the one I said I'm cutting on. Okay. Uh, do you know what a penis is? Yes. All right. Is that where he was cutting? That's why I said I'm going down that. And he was on his back. I said I'm going down like that real close to his penis and stuff. And I saw some blood and that's when I took off. Was, so, uh, were y'all close to the creek at that point? Yes, where where was the little boy actually at? He was close. About. All right, you know where the bio is. Right. All right, and you know where the little creek is that goes out through the expressway. And it doesn't have a lot of water in it, but it's got some water in it, and it's flowing through there. Which side of that creek were you on? Were you on the Memphis side of the creek, or were you on the Blue Beacon side of that creek? Blue Beacon. On the Blue Beacon. So there's like a tall bank. Were you, where were you at on that bank? I was up at, standing up at 
Uh, right, where were they at? They was at the bottom. On the, which side? The Memphis side. They were on the Memphis side. I was on the, All right, we're going to correct that even further. That's the east side. Memphis side is the east side. And you were standing at the top of the bank on the west side. Were you looking down at what was going on? I was looking down. After I seen all that, I took off. Okay. And when you left, did you hear any more hollering or anything? No. All right. You went home. And about what time was it that all this was taking place? They called me about. I'm not saying when they called you. I'm saying what time was it that you were actually there in the park? I was there about 12. About noon? Okay. Was it after school? I let out? I didn't go to school. What, these no, other boys? No. They, they skipped school. They skipped school? They was going to catch their bus or stuff, and they was on their bikes. So. All right. They were on their bikes. Where were the bikes at? They they laid their bikes down when they came out there to the when they when they hollered for them told them to come out there. Where laid, where did they lay their bikes down? That's what I'm asking. I don't know where they laid their bikes at down there. Cause I was I was behind Damien and them, way way behind them. Okay. And when they hollered, then I seen the boys. The little boys came on over. Mm -hmm. Had Damien seen these boys before? Yes. Has he done things with them before? Or has he just been watching them? Has he had watching, sex with them before? Them. Has he ever had sex with any of them before? No, he's been watching them. He's been watching them. You mentioned earlier that at one of the meetings you went to with this cult thing, they had some pictures. Describe those pictures for me. It had, it had some houses, the trees and stuff. Okay. Had somebody taken pictures of these boys? Were they in the houses or were they in these trees when they took those pictures? They were at the houses. At the houses. Did they take, like, one picture of one boy? It was in a group. Always three? It was a group of pictures of three. All okay. three of them. All three of them would generally be together. Mm -hmm. How many pictures did you see all together? I just saw one. Okay. And it had these same three boys in it? Mm -hmm. You're certain of that? Nate, did you say the boys skipped school that day? These little boys did? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? They was going to catch up, going somewhere, and like I said, David, Damien and them left before I did. I told them I'd meet them there and stuff. I had to get ready and stuff. I'd meet them there. And it was early in the morning, so they went ahead and meet, met me up. They went ahead and went up there, and then I came up, you know, later on behind them. What time did you get there? I got there about nine. In the morning? Mm-hmm. Of Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and when, what time is it right now? Right now? Yeah. You don't know what time it is? Do you not wear a watch? It's at home. My so, dad, my dad woke me up this morning. Your time period might not be exactly right, what you're saying. Right. But it, it was like early in the day, but you don't know exactly what time. Okay. Because we got, I've got some real confusion with the times you're telling me. But now, this nine o'clock in the evening call that you've got, explain that to me. Well, after all the stuff happened that night, that they'd done it. Okay. I went home about noon. Then they called me at okay. nine o'clock at that night. They called me. Okay. And what did they tell you on the telephone? They asked me how come I left so early and stuff. And I told them I couldn't stand there watching it no more, so I had to do something to get out of there. Okay. <laughs> Who called you? Jason. And you mentioned you heard some voice in the background? I heard some Damien. And what else? I think you said that he made the call from his house? He made the call from his house. And Damien was hollering in the background and said, we done it, we done it. What are we going to do if somebody saw us? What are we going to do? Okay. Now, the knives. Was there one knife, two knives? Was your knife there? 
Did somebody take you and use your knife? Do you have a knife? I got one knife. Where is it at? It's at home. Okay. The knife that you said Jason was using, mm -hmm. where is it? I don't, I don't know what he done with it because after I left, then that's when I don't know what they done with it. After I left, I don't know what they done with it. He didn't tell you he hid it somewhere? He he so it. I, I got a feeling here. You're not quite telling me everything. Now, we're, you know, we are recording everything. So this is very, very important to tell us the entire truth. If you were there the whole time, then tell us you were there the whole time. Don't leave anything out. This is very, very important. Now, just tell us the truth. I was there until they tied them up. And then that's when I left. After they tied them up, I left. But you saw them cutting on the boys. I saw them cutting on them. And then they so laid, what, what else left is there after they laid, that? They laid the knife down beside them, and I saw them tying them up, and then that's when I left. Were the boys conscious, or were they... They was unconscious, too. Unconscious. Okay. And then after I left, they done more. They done more? They started screwing them again. Okay. How were they screwing them when you saw them? They, they stuck his in one of them's mouth, and Damien was screwing one of them up the ass and stuff. Okay. All right, and the one that they were cutting the penis off of. Did any of them, or cutting the penis or whatever was being done, did they have sex with him at home? No. Did either one of them? J uh, Jason did. Jason did. Jason was screwing him while Damien stuck his in his mouth and that boy's mouth. Okay. How did he have sex with that one? Damien, he was holding him down. Uh huh. And Jason had his legs up in the air, and that little boy was kicking, saying, "Don't, don't, like that." Okay. He had his legs up in the air. All right. What was to keep these little boys from running off? If just their hands are tied, what's to keep them from running off? They beat them up so bad, well, they can't hardly move. They haven't tied had their hands tied down. Right, just you, sit on them. You said they had their hands tied up, tied down. Were their hands tied in a fashion to where they couldn't have run? You tell me. They they could run. They just had them tied. When they knock them down and stuff, they can hold their arms and stuff and, and sit, hold them down like where he couldn't raise up. And the other one pick his legs up. Okay. So they had them under control. You were there the whole time that was taking place? I was there. Okay. One of them was cut on the face real bad. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. And one of them was being cut on his penis. Yes, sir. All right. Did you ever use, did anyone use a stick and hit the boys with? I mean, I had kind of a big old stick when he hit that first one after he hit him with his fist knocked him down and then he got him a big old stick and hit him what did the stick look like I mean was it like a a, a, a big log like that or is it or is it a stick it, I'll say it was about that about that big around <clears throat> I'll say about that long okay it's about the size of a baseball bat and maybe just a little bit bigger around yeah that's, that's, that's what you described with your hands right no how long was the knife that Jason was using? All right, you're describing a knife that would be about six inches long. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And what kind of blade did it have on it? Uh, like a regular, just a regular knife blade. Was it a knife that you fold up, or was it a like a hunting knife it that's just a, one piece? Just you fold up knife. It was a folding knife. Mm -hmm. Uh, does Damien have a knife? No. He doesn't have one? He didn't have one that night? He didn't have one that night. Did he borrow yours? No, he borrowed mine. Okay. Did they have a briefcase with them? 
Didn't you didn't see a briefcase? I didn't see a briefcase. Not unless they left it there that that day before it happened. Not unless they left it there then by it sit down there that day. Have you ever seen them with a briefcase before? I seen them. once that one night I said it was in the night. Okay. What what is kept inside that briefcase? They had some cocaine and a little gun. Is that where you first saw the pictures mm-hmm. of the boys? Right there in Lake Shore. And okay. you saw the pictures in the briefcase? Mm-hmm. I've heard when we had that call. Okay. Now, you have participated in this cult, right? Yes. How long have you been involved in it? I've been in for about three months. Okay. What is, tell me some of the things y'all do typically in the woods in, as being in this cult. We go out, kill dogs and stuff, and then kill girls out there. All right, what do you do with the girls when you're out there? We screw them and stuff. Does just everybody take turns? Everybody, and, and all have the orgies and stuff like that. Okay. When you kill a dog, what do you do with it? We, we usually skin it, build a little bonfire, and eat it and stuff. Okay, when you're initiating somebody new to come into, come into a cult, what actually is done to initiate that person into the cult? We usually, we usually, you know, kill the animals, you know, see if he knows, you know, how to handle the meat and stuff. After we kill him, see if he knows, if he can't handle it, then he don't get in. Okay, so he kills an animal. You mentioned earlier that he may have to eat part of that animal. What part of the animal would he eat? All of his, uh, meat off his leg. Meat off his leg. And if, he, if he can't eat it, then he don't, he don't get in. Doesn't get into the club. No. Now, on these, these meetings, have they ever been violent? Anybody gotten mad and gotten in a fight? No. Okay. The night you were in these woods, um, had y'all been in the water? Yeah, we were in the water. We was in the, playing around in it. You were playing around in the water? All right. What were you doing in the water? Just Besides just playing, I mean, did the little boys, had they been in the water? Did they get in the water with y'all? No, they didn't get in the water with us. Okay. What were you doing in the water? We were just sitting there throwing stuff at each other. Okay. Were y'all having sex? No, I wasn't. You weren't? No. Was Damien and Jason having sex? They, they take turns going up under the water. Going under the water? What were they doing under the water? I don't know. They, they sit so far away, they, they go up in the water and for about I'll say about five, ten seconds, and then come up, and the other one go down. Okay. So they were just messing around in the water. All right. They called for these boys to come over there? Yeah, they, they seen the boys, and then they hollered. They been hollering. Say, hey, and the boys came out there. Did they call them by name? Uh-uh. They just hollered, and then they... Just showed up. Where did the boys put their bikes? Right, close right where they right there before you come in. Mm-hmm. They laid it down right there. Okay. And I don't know what, after I left, I don't know what they did with the bikes. You didn't do anything to the bikes at all? No. Are you sure? Positive. You didn't touch the bikes? I didn't touch them. You've been back to this place since that murder, mm-hmm. since it took time to place. What did you do while you were there? I'm being truthful. I'll sit down there. I'll just sit there after what they did to the boys. I'll just sit there. And did what? I just thought what they what happened to them real bad. I just thought. Okay. And then I left and stuff. And stuff? I just left and walked, walked on. When did you go back there? Two or three days after it happened, not left. Were you there by yourself? I was there by myself. 
Did you go there with some more boys once? Me, David, and Dennis. To that particular place? No, not to that. Are you willing to go down there with us and us have a camcorder and you show us where these things took place? Could you do that? Wouldn't have any problem with that. Huh? But you would be able to point out where these things took place, mm -hmm. which way the boys came from, mm -hmm. and where y'all were when he hollered for the boys, stuff like that. You wouldn't have any problem with that? But that's after, after the murder, stuff, about, like I said, about two or three days later after it happened, I went and I thought about it, and I haven't been there since. Okay. Let me ask you something. This is real serious, and I want you to be real truthful. And I want, I want, want you to think about it before you answer it. Don't just say yes or no real quick. I want you to think about it. Did you actually hit any of these boys? No. Now tell us the truth. No. Okay. Did you actually rape any of these boys? No. Did you actually kill any of these boys? No. Did you see any of the boys actually killed? Yes. Okay. Which one did you see killed? Right, right there. Yes. You're pointing to the buyer's boy again? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how was he actually killed? He didn't. He choked him real bad, like. Choking him? Okay. What was he choking him with? His hand was like a little like a stick. It was a little bit of a stick and kind of holding it off his neck. Okay. So he was choking him to the point to where he actually went unconscious? So at that point, you feel like he was dead? Yeah. Okay. Did any of the other two boys, were you there when they were actually killed? Mm -hmm. You say you got sick of what you were saying. Did you throw up or anything? Mm -hmm. Where did you throw up at? I got a little bit of ways after we took seeing that. I left about half a mile up the road was when I threw up and stuff. I couldn't hardly run or nothing. I just threw up. When you left from there, did you leave running? Mm -hmm. did were you, you hiding? You had some blood on your clothes? I had no blood on me. I, went, I didn't get close to them. Were your clothes wet still? Mm -hmm. they, was, they was damp. Muddy? Mm -hmm. All right, Inspector Gitchell touched on a point real, real close. Now, what clothes was Jason wearing that day, that he, night? He, he wore some blue jeans and some... some Boots, like, the army boots, like. Army boots? And what kind of a shirt? I mean, you know, everybody wears a special shirt for different things. He's wearing a, a Megadeth shirt. A Megadeth? No, Megadeth, Metallica. Metallica shirt. All right, was he wearing a cap? Anything like that? No, he didn't wear a cap. All right, Damien, what was Damien wearing? Damien had some black pants on, some boots, and a black T-shirt. All right. Was anything on his shirt? No kind of design or anything? These blue jeans that Jason was wearing, they designer jeans? Were they old jeans, wore out, holes? They were wore out. What did it look like? They had holes in the knees and stuff. Holes in the knees. What color is Jason's hair? Blonde. Bright blonde or like a sandy reddish type blonde? You know the difference? It's like a sandy color blonde. Sandy color blonde? Okay. He's wearing blue jeans. He had a Metallica shirt. This is a shirt that's got Metallica across the front of it spelled out and a man's name or something under it or a picture. Is that right? You tell me. They had pictures. Picture of somebody? Different shirts had, you know, different Metallica shirts got different. Well, which one did he have? He had the, uh, like a, the sky skull on it, stuff like that. A skull? Yeah. Okay. What were you wearing that day? I was just wearing regular blue jeans, my shoes, and 
Mm-hmm. What kind of shoes were you wearing? My uh, Adidas. Adidas tennis shoes. Mm-hmm. Okay. What kind of shirt were you wearing? I was just wearing a regular one of my old breezy up t-shirts. Okay. Was it a design shirt like this bull run type shirt, or was it just a plain white? Old t-shirt. Right, where are these shoes at now? A friend of mine. Yeah, he bought them. All right. Who is that? Buddy Lucas. Buddy Lucas? He bought them from me. The boots that Damien had on, are they army type boots too, or what kind of boots were they? It's, it's close to like army type, not, not quite. Okay. They're black. Is that right? Lace up? And Jason's black, lace up. Jason's black up to about three quarters wide. Oh, they come way up on him. Okay. Damien's didn't come up that far. Okay. Okay. When they killed the boys, you decided to go. You went home. How long after you got home before you received the phone call? 30 minutes? An hour? Um, an hour after you got home? Okay. So they were there for a lot longer. Mm-hmm. When he called you on the phone, did he say he just got in? Um, he, 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 he called me when he first got home. He called me. He said, how come I, how come I left? I told him I, I couldn't stand. I had to do some mails. Okay. You, they, just, you couldn't stand it. And then Damien, I heard Damien in the background saying, we done it, we done it, what we going to do now? What about if somebody saw us? Okay. Did anybody see you leaving? No. That you know of? That I know of. Did anybody see Damien and Jason? Oh, no, I left before them. But have you heard anybody say that they saw Damien and Jason? Uh-uh. You hadn't heard anybody? Okay. Now these initiations, you said they eat part of the leg muscles, leg meat. Would that involve eating part of the penis of the animal? Just the meat. Just the meat. Has Jason and Damien talked to you since this happened? Mm-hmm. They haven't talked to you about this? They, they, they ain't said nothing around me. Well, not because I'm around some more of my friends. They don't say nothing. Well, when you've been by yourself, and I'm sure in the last three weeks you've been by yourself with them sometime. I mean, with Damien, he, he just uh, he keeps on asking me how come I left and stuff. And has anybody said anything to me about it? Okay. What did he say about when you came to the police department? That boy, you seeing that boy in the woods up there behind the Goodyear place? What did he say about that? He didn't know about that. He doesn't know that? Uh-uh. Okay. What about when you get with Jason by himself? He just he keeps on asking me what we're going to do next. I told him I, got, I can't do that now because I go with my dad every day. I make a big excuse because. So they're scared. Is that right? That's good, because after what they did, I told them, I just bring a period of excuse. I go work with my dad every time or something. I do something. Well, what do you think ought to be done to them for killing these boys? I think they may be put away for a while. Put away for a while. Do you think they're sick or just mean? I think they're sick. They're sick. Okay. Is there anything else you want to add to this statement? No. Why did you not come forward with this information? Because I was scared. Scared of Damien or scared of the police? Scared of the police. Are you scared of Damien now? No. Are you scared of the police now? No. You're not? So we've treated you well. All right. 
I'm going to conclude this interview. The time is 3.18.